Hello everyone, welcome to Billy's Home Life. I made an Aldi run today. I spent $118.21 and I'm gonna share with you what I got. You can see I have a tower of tacos here. <laughs> um, Noah's the only one in my house that likes the crunchy. All the rest of us prefer the soft tacos. And I have some of the small ones and I have some of the larger ones. Because on top of making tacos, I also make like enchiladas and burritos and taquitos. And so, um, what do I have? I have four bags of the soft and one box of the crunchy. I have a gallon of water here. I have one pack of toilet paper. Still limit on the toilet paper. You can only get one. Here, I kind of have all of my condiments. I have three jars of the plain cheese dip and then I have one of the salsa cone queso for nachos and I actually have a recipe that uses this and I have some soft pretzels in the freezer and I thought they would be yummy dipped in the cheese there. I also found these. I've purchased these before and I haven't been able to find them the past few times I've been to Aldi. So I was so excited when I saw these. So these are the Aldi version of the Buffalo Wild Wing sauces. So I have the Asian kick and the Parmesan garlic. Um, also something exciting for me. Um, I found this cheesy jalapeno. Uh, this is like that powdered cheese stuff that you put on popcorn. My hubby is not a fan of eating popcorn. If he does eat it, he likes these shaky things and he loves spicy stuff. So I can't wait to show this to him. He's going to love it. I was all out of peanuts. My hubby likes snacking on them and I like keeping them in the house just to sprinkle on ice cream and such. I have some pancake syrup there. I have two boxes of macaroni and cheese. I have the one that has the real cheese in like the pouch and then I have the uh, powdered one. Two bottles of salad dressing. The ranch is for me. The French is for my husband. I was all out of hot peppers so I just have some banana peppers here. Was all out of um, marshmallow cream so I have a jar of that jar of mayo just to put in the pantry and I swear my hubby could just drink hot sauce got a bottle of hot sauce there and I swear Nathan could just eat ketchup so there is a backup of ketchup for me and way in the back here it's getting dark I'm sorry um there's a bottle of olive oil and I have some cooking spray and I have a big old tub of quick cooking oatmeal okay let's move up here if you've never tried this, this is amazing, uh, this trail mix. Almonds, dark chocolate, and cashew. And that's all that's in that. Um, we're not big fans of trail mix that have like the dried pineapple and raisins. And this is just nuts and chocolate. It's so delicious. Again, this was something I haven't been able to find the past couple of months when I've been to Aldi. So I was excited that they had it again. There is a can of cream of chicken soup there. I have some seasoning packets, chili, taco, ranch. Um, I have a graham cracker pie crust. I have everything I need in the house to make a peanut butter pie, but uh, you're supposed to use one of these uh, pie crust because it does go in the freezer. So you don't want to make your own and have it in a glass pie tin and you just want one of these little disposable things here. I have a pack of the Hawaiian sweet rolls. There are two loaves of bread back there and a package of hamburger buns. Hopefully you can see them. There is too much stuff shoved on this tiny little counter. Okay, I have two cans of pork and beans and then I have two packages of like Aldi version of Kool-Aid. I got the grape and then, what is this, Tropical Punch? have a big old tub of peanut butter here, the creamy. have some bacon bits, some instant mashed potatoes there, and then these are scalloped potatoes. I'm skipping over this. And I mentioned in a previous video that I have had trouble finding this at Aldi, and now I found it. So being I was at Save-A-Lot or I purchased it at Dollar General or something else, um, I got the plain. I decided to try out the barbecue. I've never tried the flavored ones, so... 
There's that. Anything else hiding back there? No, let's jump up to the front again. Can of cream of mushroom soup. I think I grabbed a couple of those. Um, I have several cans of green beans here. I'm seeing three of them. What is this? I already told you about the pork and beans. I have three cans of tuna. I have a couple of cans of tomato sauce and two cans of black beans because I could not find a lot of beans at Aldi. Um, I wasn't seeing the limit signs on their canned goods. Uh, normally you can only take four of something or you know the past few months since the start of the pandemic there's a limit of four on the canned goods i wasn't seeing those signs today and the beans were kind of wiped out um, i know i have green beans here i have two cans of black beans there was no cannellini beans no chili beans no red kidney beans so we make chili a lot in my house in the winter and i really wanted kidney beans but I settled for the black beans. Those will have to go in chili. I have a few cans of little mushrooms here. I think I'm seeing three. There's one of my cream of mushrooms. I have a can of peas. Getting low on chicken bouillon cubes, so I have a can of those. I have a can of evaporated milk here and a can of the whole potatoes. And then some junk food here, <laughs> our corn chips that we always buy to sprinkle on chili. And then I have the dipper chips uh, just for making nachos. Let's see here. Just a little bit of stuff from the dairy aisle. I know you're mostly looking at pantry items here. So I have a bag of mild cheddar cheese. I got a bag of the mozzarella and then the fresh Parmesan. I don't have enough room. <laughs> I feel like I'm juggling. Okay, I have two bags of chocolate chips here. I have the regulars and the minis, and then I have some of these um, caramel coconut fudge cookies that taste like the Girl Scout uh, Samoas. I haven't gotten those lately. Just have some ham lunch meat. I have two bricks of mozzarella cheese. I have two bricks of cream cheese. And I have a pound of the unsalted butter. My hubby absolutely loves these little mini peppers in the bag. I have a bag of those for him. And I have some roasted red pepper hummus as well. Have a box of tea bags and some what are these called uh golden round crackers so these would be your ritz crackers have a bag of croutons back there and a box of saltines my husband likes the ritz crackers and the rest of us we prefer the plain old boring uh, saltine crackers so just making everybody happy here i have a bag of brown sugar a bag of regular granulated sugar and then a bag of powdered sugar I did want to get flour. I always pick up flour when I go to Aldi. We just go through a lot of it. I do a lot of baking, make homemade pizzas. Um, they didn't have their brand of flour, which I don't know about your area, but here I pay $1.15 for a five pound bag of flour at Aldi. Um, they had Pillsbury flour and they wanted $2.59 for it. <laughs> so I left it in the store. Um, that is one of the things that's cheaper and makes it worthwhile uh, making a trip to Aldi for the flour. Um, but I can get that cheaper in my town actually than getting the Pillsbury for $2.59. So I passed up my flour for this trip to Aldi. This is everything that I picked up today. Thanks for watching. Everyone take care.